another one. Guys, first car checks back again with another episode. This time I got something special for you. Not one, but two cars. Yeah, so let's just start with the first car, guys. It's Audi S3, finished off in tornado red, looking absolutely sick on black wheels. Let's go have a look. So yeah, like I said, we're here today with Simon. Just talk us through this S3 then, because it's looking absolutely slammed, finished off in Tornado Red. Let us know what it's about. Uh, basically, what it's had, it's had um, racing line induction kit, um, stage two remap, the new GoPR APR software, Yeah. turbo back exhaust system, um, rated spark plugs, and yeah, that's about it really. In terms of the brake horsepower, have you had it dyno run? Yeah, it's running 330. 330, so that's good figures. You've got the Quattro system. Yeah. And this is the manual, yeah? Yeah. So let me just show them, obviously, there you can see it's the manual. We've done a few DSG S3s, but we haven't done no Mark IIs yet, so this will be an interesting drive just to test it out and see what it's like in terms of the manual, the Mark II spec, the differences between how the Mark III is now created. So just talk us through a little bit. So 330 brake, and did you put these modifications on yourself? Yeah, all these modifications were done. Uh, well, just obviously in terms of price-wise, can you just let people know what you can get a second-hand version of one of these for? These um, days? You can pick a good one up for around about ten and a half. Ten and a half, okay. And um, With, how much does it cost to do the modifications that you've done? I've probably spent probably, you know, if you got the people, probably about a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. So, so you're saying for the three thirty brake. 10,000 pound, add a thousand pound on top of that and that's what you get, 330 brick. Yeah. Reservoirs for the shock absorbers. Yeah. Um, you've got high speed and low speed compression adjustment on these knobs here. Yeah. So you can just make easy adjustments when you're at the track and you see the top marks up there. Yeah. Nice, nice. So they don't look much, but we know underneath this is a beast inside of it. So it'll be exciting to see what it does when we get off on the drive. So yeah, we're here with Tom today in his Megan RS looking absolutely slammed. Well done for this car, mate. It's a rare one, I don't see many of these around, so I'm happy that you brought this car to me today. Yeah. But just talk us through a bit about the car, a bit about the spec, the brake horsepower and stuff. 
Yeah, so it's a Megan RS265 cut, so it's got the front diff. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, had it about six months now. Uh, it's running about 300 brake. Um, yeah. It's mapped by EFI tuning up, up north. Um, I haven't had it mapped by them. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it's cool. Um, got the Nitron R3 kit on there, so there's so much adjustment on it. Um, also, obviously, got the Recaros in there. Um, yeah. But apart from that, that's about it, really. That's all I've done. Oh, obviously, the ATS GTR wheels, 17s. Yeah. Uh, Mitchin Pipes, but falls. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it was already tuned when I bought it, so. Okay, and just so people can see, there's no back seats in this car. Yeah. Absolutely no back seats for this car. So I know Tom did originally have the seats, so just tell us your reason, what's the thinking behind so, that? So, uh, I obviously had the stock cloth seats when I first got it, and I wasn't a fan of them. I didn't, I couldn't sit low enough for the right seating position. So I put these Recaro pole positions in, I got the base mounts uh, bolted directly to the floor. Um, obviously, with they're not being reclinable, fixed back. So I had to take the back seats out. Yeah. Um, I literally ordered a cage like two days ago. So yeah. there's a roll cage coming in there that can get caged. Uh, get the shifter in here and get his new steering wheel, and then I'll be pretty much there with it. Yeah. And just so we, the people can know. Yeah. Um, so how much is it for? Obviously, it's a used one of these. Because obviously, they're not selling brand new ones of these no more. But how much is it for a second hand one of these? Yeah. So I bought this for ten and a half. Yeah. Um, it's um, only got like forty five thousand miles on it, so it's yeah. really low mileage. Um, but yeah, you can pick these up. At, so. On these cars, the mods actually add money to the value of the car. Okay. So, um, yeah, nice spec one. You can get anywhere between 8 to f eight to 17. As I mentioned earlier, we've got an Audi S3 today with us, and we've also got Tom's Magan RS with us today. So, it's not a direct rivalry comparison, but what we're going to do is compare the two cars. Not so people can say that car's better or this car's better. It's more of a case that, you know, some people might not look at the S3 or may not look at the Megane. So whichever one, some people can say, oh, actually, yeah, I preferred that car for me personally. So like I said, it's not a direct rivalry, it's just a comparison today. Because I got them both here today, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. So let's talk more action. Let's go. <laughs> So yeah, we're now with Tom in the Megan RS. Ready, ready, this car pops and bangs, don't it? it? Does. It's got good pops and bangs, man. It's got good pops and bangs, I love it. Because it's not got the back seats, there's a lot of uh, yeah, noise you can yeah, hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is good, because like I said, you know me, I'm all for the petrol and all for this sort of excitement. Um, yeah, so just obviously, just uh, tell them what you do then, because obviously I know what uh, Tom does, but just tell the people then what you do. Yeah, I've got quite an interesting, cool job to be fair. I work at um, a company called Literal Motors. Um, if you're into cars, then you most likely know who they are. Um, I work in the office, um, just look after the customers, do the day-to-day yeah. -day servicing, bits and pieces. Um, yeah, all round cool job, uh, yeah. great fun, meet some great people, have some great experiences. Um, busy, long hours, but um, yeah, it's good fun. Give us some. Absolutely insane in the handling. 
it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? For a front wheel drive car, yeah, exactly. like this car is stuck to the road. Yeah, yeah. It's just completely glued on the road. It's um, it's not the quickest in a straight line, but yeah. it's fucking cracking around the corners. Yeah. It's so fast. And bags of fun. Oh yeah. Bags of fun. Yeah. Bags of fun. I cannot wait to go on track. Yeah. Oh, so you, have you taken it on the track yet, then? Not, not this car. I'm taking no. it on track yet. Yeah. Because I uh, seen you done a day the other day. Didn't yeah, you? I was at Silverstone the other day yeah. with Litchfield. So what was that you was doing? Because I seen you was driving on the track. Yeah, I was driving the new GR Yaris on track. Yeah. Um, we had our Nitron um, suspension on it, so we made loads of adjustments at the track. Yeah. Uh, I was um, being coached by Jake Hill, okay. the touring car race yeah. driver at the moment. Um, so that's pretty cool. He was an awesome guy. Yeah. Um, also drove my boss's Porsche on the track as well. Hey, check him out. Yeah. Driving Porsche is living the dream in that job, isn't yeah? yeah. Give me a vacancy. Yeah. <laughs> They don't move. They don't move? No. Oh my god. <laughs> They're bolted to the floor. They're bolted to the floor, no way. Yeah, man. so I don't know if the seating position is going to be all okay. that good. Okay, keep going forward by about half an inch. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to have to dig this. I literally feel like I'm in a low rider, man. This is. I can't drop nothing this low, like in terms of the seats, man. Yeah, it's hard. We're just going to cruise to start with just so I can get a feel of the car. I can't even see over the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, just sit up. <laughs> yeah, it is really low to be fair. I can't even think it's too hot. Steering's really yeah, sensitive. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? it yes. Yeah. This is actually, this feels like I'm in a race car. Yeah. I can't move the seats. Yeah. I can't even see over the steering wheel. There's no back seats. And I can hear a disgusting loud exhaust that just sounds savage. I don't think people understand no, that. No, it's not. It's... Let's go anyway. Audi S3. Got it. Yeah, we got it. And they're only going to go up in, up in value, from what I'm told. Yeah. So now I've got it, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, 100%. So just how, how long have you had this, did you say, sir? Um, so? I've had it about a month now. A month? Okay, so what did you have before this then? I had a Focus ST. Okay, and that was obviously a big break was part of car as well. That was 250 break. Yeah. But that was totally standard, that was stock standard, so. Yeah. Okay, so. Car, the Mark II, they've kept it up to be fair, but I feel like just before they changed everything, but now it's like more DSG and yeah. you know, uh, S Tronic, should I say, for Audi. I feel like this was the one that they made just when they were sort of keeping the fun factor in the past. Yeah. Either, so there's no warm up 
up like in the last few cars I've drove there's been sport mode and all this stuff but this is just you and the car nothing else you're the driver you're the sport mode you've got the gear stick and yeah it feels good to be in a manual doing a nice review but like I said it's that whole feel like that manual feel of a car with the turbo and it builds up nice and it makes for a nice drive so this is a nice car uh, anyone that's got the 10 grand to spend on these sort of motors shouldn't overlook it just because there's the new models out because listen <laughs> wow and she holds the road yeah I'm impressed I'm impressed Right. Stage right. two, latest ID Copier software. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is nice, man. This is very nice. Wow. It's got power on. It's got power on tap, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm impressed, man. Like you said, I'm, I'm happy that you said you're going to keep it standard and leave the normal S lock because I really how it looks in the tornado red. Finish with those black rims. That turbo. Obviously there are people out there that will have around £7,000 to spend and may overlook this car due to its age and the new Audi S3 being out of, you know, people want the latest thing. But this car here, make no mistake, listen, one more time, 